All right, everybody, what is going on? My name is Brennan Sabalski, and welcome back to another Average Joe's informational video. We've noticed that you guys are starting to like these types of videos. We've got a lot of good feedback so far, so I really appreciate hearing from you guys and uh, everyone letting us know what you think about them. So if you continue to like these types of videos, please leave a comment below letting us know. It helps us to uh, know that we're on the right track with our content creation. And uh, if we're doing well and we're helping people out, then we're gonna do more content like this. So please leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to The Average Joe so you never miss another episode, whether it be fishing, on the ice, on the water, or just sitting in the kitchen doing some informational videos to help people out. Today I'm planning on discussing with everybody how we go about picking a stocked lake and how you can choose stocked lakes depending on your preference for fishing that day. There are different tools that you can find and resources online to help you determine which lake best suits you for what you're looking for that day. So whether it be that you want to go and you want to catch numbers, you want to go and you want to catch a big snack of trout to go and eat, well, there are certain lakes where you can do that and it's easier to determine them than you actually think. Whereas if you're going to a lake and you want to catch a big one, if you're looking for a trophy fish, you want to catch like in our first ice video from this year, a big splake, you know, something, some big colored up trout. Well, this video is gonna help you to figure out how we narrow that down and how you can also narrow that down. That's where we're headed today with this video, so let's kick it off, here we go. So tool number one that I think is a very good resource that you can find online, just by Googling the Ontario fish stocking list for whatever current year you're in. So I'm in, 2023 was our last stocking year, which was this past season. So I just typed into Google into the search engine, Ontario fish stocking 2023. That's literally what I put in. And the first thing that comes up here is Ontario.ca. This is the website right here, the fish stocking list. So you're gonna click on this fish stocking list. It's gonna bring you into a table. So now this table right here, this is gonna show you your stocking district. First of all, at the top, it's gonna to show you your fish species that you're looking for. And it's gonna show you your water body, the township it's in, and the past five year history of stocking in that lake. So what type of fish has been put in and how many have been put in in each select year for the last five years. So this is your friend. This tool is your friend. You can actually use this you can use this to help you to narrow down what you are looking for. So we're going to start off with explaining if you're looking for numbers, you want to go out, maybe you're taking the kids fishing, maybe you're taking someone fishing for the first time, maybe you're going and you just want to get a snack of fish. Well, I love doing that too and the great thing about it is if you're looking for a snack, it's pretty easy to find because you're just going to look for numbers stocked this year. We're gonna paint the picture now. I wanna go out tomorrow, I'm taking my girlfriend, I wanna catch a good snack of trout, I want action. She's coming out ice fishing for the first time, I wanna take her and show her a good time. I don't wanna get no bites, I don't wanna have a hard time struggling to find fish. We're gonna find something fairly easily accessible, we're gonna do a little day trip in, we're gonna bring a pan, we're gonna have a nice cookout on the shore, you know, the typical catch and cook video. So I'm gonna scroll through this, uh, currently I'm in fish management zone 15, that's where we generally fish and that's where we reside. So I'm going to just pick a random lake here. So I'm going to go to the 2023 column, I'm going to pick a lake. Okay, let's go to the Pembroke Stocking District, we're about, I'm about a half hour from Pembroke, so let's go to that. And we're going to look for a lake that was stocked this year. So Acorn Lake, first one on the list, stocked with 1800 fish in 2023. 2000 in 2022, nothing in 2021, and 2000 in 2020. So another tab I have open here is Fish Online. If you haven't heard of Fish Online, you must be living under a rock by now because everybody talks about it online. But just Google Fish Online right there. I have Google. First one that comes up, Ontario.ca. Fish Online, it's your friend. Fish Online is your best friend when it comes to figuring out where you're gonna fish. It is very handy. Just accept the disclaimer. I out of this crap. 
I'm gonna put my map on because I like looking at it better this way. We're gonna go to Acorn Lake. So I'm zooming in, I know right where Acorn Lake is. Right there. Kinda looks like an acorn without the cap. Maybe that's why they called it Acorn Lake, who really knows? Okay, I'm gonna click on Acorn Lake. Fish Online tells me it's a 14 hectare lake, so that means not very big. Generally we'll have ice early because it's a small lake. Gets to 11 meters, so that's about 35 feet or so. So 35 feet is enough water for trout to live throughout the summer. So there's gonna be a holdover of fish in this lake. That's one thing you wanna look for if you're looking for size. I'm looking mostly just for this year's stalkers. I wanna go catch a snap, right? Rhetorically, I wanna go catch a snap. With the potential of possibly getting a nicer fish. So by seeing that there is a depth of more than 35 feet and it's most likely spring fed because it's up on a hill and trout are in it, well, I know that the holdover fish are gonna do all right. You're gonna actually catch fish from previous stocking reasons. This tells me the same thing that the fish stocking list told me. 1800 this year, 2000 and 2022, 2000 and 2020. So the past four stocking years, it's been stocked decently. It, it's got decent numbers. It's not far to access from the road. As you can see right here, it's a short trail. It's all uphill. Because it was stocked fairly heavy for the size of the lake this year, I'm gonna go there and I'm probably gonna be able to catch fish. No guarantees because it's fishing. It's called fishing, not catching. I was out on New Year's on the lake stocked to 2,700 trout. We got three. And like, it should have been, should have been a heyday for the size of the lake and the amount of fish that were put in, we should have caught a lot more than three. They just were not biting or they died. I don't know, but they were not biting. So that's the thing with trout fishing that I like is that it's not always easy. Sometimes you have to work for it, but when it does pay off, it's so worth it. it. It feels so rewarding to actually catch the fish. I know that this is a fairly easy trip. It looks like a very close walk from the access point at the road right here. So yeah, not hard to get up to. Stocked this year, it's gonna make for a good location to go to catch a snack of trout. So there's option number one. If you're looking to just catch some fish, have a nice day with your family, get bites fairly consistently, go to a lake that's stocked this year, heavier than not. The ideal situation for a lake to go get numbers is a smaller sized lake, like sub 20 hectares, that's stocked heavy. So something that's stocked, I would say on a 20 hectare lake, you want something that's stocked with more than 1500 fish. 100 fish per hectare of surface area for the lake is kind of your ideal number if you want to go and have a really good day of possibly catching a count or at least getting bites. Option number two that we are going to talk about is lakes that are stocked and you're looking for bigger fish. So now like I was saying, you want to figure out if a lake has the potential for a holdover for bigger fish. So by using fish online, you can pick a random lake Dependent on the lake, you can see the average depth and the maximum depth of that body of water. So for trout to have a healthy holdover, you generally want to find 35 plus, I would say more like 40 feet plus of water. You want there to be a steady inflow of water in that lake, whether it be creeks or springs. It's hard to tell if there's springs, but if they're stocking a lake consistently, it's probably a lake that is going to hold fish more often than not. So if I want to go to a lake and I want to catch a big one, I want to go catch a fish that's a nicer size, like something that's not in that 8 to 12 inch range. I want to catch something that's 14, 15, 16 or more inches. Well, then I'm going to find a lake that wasn't stocked this year. If I find a lake that isn't stocked this year, there is going to be a lot less bites. You got to remember that if it's not stocked this year, it's been fished for a year since it was stocked last. So there's going to be a lot less fish left from that stocking class. But when you do go there, the fish that you catch are going to be nice ones. They're going to be bigger. They're going to be healthy, good sized fish. 
I'm at the point now with fishing where I don't care to get a whole bunch of bites because I've caught enough trout in my life that if I, if I get skunked, it doesn't bother me. I would rather fish for one or two bites a day that I know are going to be a really nice fish over 20 bites a day that are going to be pan size fish. I'm at that point right now. And that's, that's just my own personal feeling. That's what I would look for more. So if I'm going to try and locate a, let's say, uh, let's go for splake this time. I'm going to locate a splake lake that I might potentially try to go to, to catch a bigger fish, something that's a holdover. So ideally you want to look for something stocked either last year or the year before. So we're in 2024. Like I said, last stocking class is 2023. I'm going to look for something stocked in 2021 or 2022. So let's see here. I'm in the Pembroke district again. I'm going to stick to the Pembroke district and I am going to look for a splake lake that was stocked last year. So I'm going to scroll down brown trout, lake trout, rainbow trout, splake. I'm going to look for numbers in the 2022 and 2021 year. So I'm going to look for something where I'm going to go for size. I'm not going to get numbers all day. I'm going to get nicer fish though when they do bite. Here is a perfect example of a lake that I would look at going to if I wanted to catch a bigger splake. So this lake, Heron Lake, is stocked in 2022 and in 2020 with splake. In 2022, there was 2,000 fish put in that lake. And in 2020, there was 4,500. So that right there tells me that I'm not going to catch any dinks in that lake because it wasn't stocked in 2023. If I catch a fish, it's either going to be a two-year-old splake or it's going to be a four-year-old splake. So it's either going to be a two to three pounder or a five to six pounder. It's gonna be one of those two stocking classes. So I'm gonna go back to fish online and I'm gonna, again, search the water body, heron. I'm gonna put in my fish management zone 15, go. So there's heron lake. It just popped up from the search. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so first off, this lake has very easy access I didn't know where it was, so just going to point out that it's in Algonquin Park. You can't ice fish this lake, but it's right beside the highway. So that may deter me a little bit from going to this lake. It's going to be easy to get to, which is nice. So I would go to a lake like this. I would spend time on it. And you might have a lot more of a spread between your bites. You might not catch 10 fish each on a lake like this. You, ve- you could if it was the perfect conditions and the perfect day. But odds are you are likely o- only going to get a couple chances through the day. Instead of going off the stocking list, I would go back to fish online. I would search by fish species. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in brook trout. Right there, I'm going to check off brook trout. And I'm going to check off splake. I'm going to go into fish management zone 15 again. Go. The potential to find more fish and to find bigger fish is always up the further you go. This is the same with anywhere that we fish, whether it be in Algonquin Park or outside of the park. The further off the beaten path you go, the better. If there's no trail, that is your best odds. The best spot that you can get to is a place that nobody else can get to either. It might be hard. It might take you a long time. You're going to sweat. You're going to work your ass off. But when you get in there, it's going to be rewarding. You got to think outside of the box of the average Joe fisherman. You don't want to fish where every Tom, Dick and Harry has fished. You want to go somewhere further back. You want to get size. You want to get big, big fish. Now I'm talking like really big fish. So that's not to say that a lake right next to the highway won't produce big fish because some fish are going to survive. But the likelihood of it happening is cut down substantially from a lake where you may only be able to access it with an ATV or a snowmobile or by walking for several hours. 
when you put in the time and the effort and you bust your ass to get in there, generally it will pay off. Now, like I said, there's no guarantee with fishing. There's no promises, but odds are you're going to do all right. Another tip that I find useful that I've learned over the years is if you want to find bigger fish, fish lakes that are stocked with lower numbers. So I'll give you an example here. So there's two lakes here. There's Rocky Lake and there's NL Lake. So Rocky Lake has a surface area of 11 hectares and NL has a surface area of 8.5 hectares. They're relatively close. Little bit of difference, but not that much. But the stocking numbers are substantially different. So if you look at Rocky Lake here, stocked with brook trout, in 2023 it was stocked with 700, and in 2021 it was stocked with 1,000. Okay, that's a decent amount of stocking for that lake. That's kind of on that 100 fish to per hectare ratio. But now if I go to NL, which is 8.5 hectares, in 2023 it was stocked with 350 fish and in 2021 it was stocked with 500. So that's literally half the amount of fish for a lake that is three quarters the size. Guys will look at these two lakes and they're going to say, obviously I'm going to go to the lake that's stocked with more fish. Like, it, that makes sense, right? In your mind that makes sense. I'm going to go to the lake that's stocked with more fish so I have better odds of catching more fish. But that's the silly way of thinking because everyone else, 75% probably at least, of other fishermen are gonna think that exact same tactic. I'm gonna go to the lake that's stocked with as many fish as possible so that I can catch as many as possible. But if everyone else thinks that, your fishing pressure just went through the roof. Everyone is gonna overlook and neglect this little lake right beside that's almost the same size, but is stocked with half the fish. They're going to say, stocked with half the fish, it's all caught out. Well, no. 75% of guys are thinking the same thing. So this lake gets over, overlooked and neglected and is probably only fished a third or less or a quarter of the amount that the lake would double the stocking would. So in this example, I would say if I was going in here, I would say it's a safe bet that 75% of the fishermen are going to pick Rocky Lake over NL because of the numbers. So that means that only a third of the fishing pressure is put on NL compared to Rocky Lake, whereas the stocking is cut in half. So if you look at that number, a third of the guys for half the fish, that means a better chance for fish to get bigger because less fishing pressure per number. I hope this video helps you to find whatever you are looking for. I hope that you will continue to keep watching the Average Joe's Fishing Show to learn more. We're here to help everybody that watches our videos. We want to help see guys succeed. I have people messaging me all the time asking for help and if you send us a message we have no problem with helping you out and giving you a bit of guidance. We may not necessarily point you right to the coordinates of a spot and we won't do that. I don't believe in sharing information that specific online but I will give you my insight on what I think would up your chances. I hope this has helped. If you've enjoyed this video and you enjoy our informational videos don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and make sure to subscribe. If you went on YouTube one day and found this video and went out fishing and took some of our advice, come back to this video and leave us a comment and let us know that we helped you out. That, uh, that means more to us than anything. That and getting a subscriber out of you. If we helped you out, help us out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So again, my name is Brennan Sobolski. Thank you for watching. And this is the Average Joe's Fishing Show. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.